Uh, hello, it's Anneli van Rensburg and today we are going to paint a bowl with grapes, a delft bowl with grapes in it. I'm gonna uh, wash my canvas with uh, cadmium red and then the colors that I'm going to use is uh, alizarin crimson, Prussian blue, buff titanium, blue gray, viridian, a little bit of cadmium uh, red, buff titanium, paints gray, titanium white, burnt sienna, um, cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue and cerulean blue or cobalt that's the colors that we are going to use um, so uh, I'm gonna wash my my canvas with the red let it dry and then we are going to start painting Okay, so now it just needs to dry quickly and then we'll start painting. Okay, now I'm gonna just let it quickly dry and then I'm gonna start with my oil paint. So this is acrylic. I'm gonna start now with the oil. Uh, what I forget to mention is I'm going to use this in pasta medium for oil color. Um, it thickens the oil paint a little bit and it's quick drying as well. So um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my palette knife maybe in the background. I'm gonna make it a soft mint green, greenish, greenish blue color. 
uh, I can maybe take out a little bit of my um, Prussian blue and then I'm gonna make the foreground all also a, a greenish color and then um, the purple grapes and the white bowl so Okay, when I start with the foreground, I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to put a little bit of my cadmium yellow in with those. I'm going to still use my buff. You must decide where your light is coming from. If you decide your light is coming from this side, then it's going to be lighter to this side and more dark towards that side. So let's pretend our light is coming from the right hand side. Um, you can use a brush for this as well. You don't need to use your palette knife. It's up to you. I always make a little bit darker underneath my pot for the shadow that it's caused that's caused today. A little bit underneath your grapes. Just gonna get this painting medium. I think I've took out not enough. Can even take a little bit of your paint's grey with this now, just to slightly darken it.
just gonna put a little bit of a lighter color there for the light that can maybe uh, when the light comes from the right hand side it can touch that piece there I'm just gonna put a little bit of a highlight there okay so I'm finished with my palette now for now, for now. Uh, I think I'm going to move over to my brush now For the leaves, I'm going to use my Viridian and my Burnt Sienna that's going to give me a nice sap green color and then I'm going to highlight with my Buff and my Cadmium Yellow so it's almost equal parts I'm just going to put in my, my leaf first there, the shadow part, the darker, the darker side and then I'm going to highlight it with my my yellow and my um, buff titanium you can always test it if it goes to brown you can just put a little bit of your viridian with Put a little bit of your, I forgot, a little bit of your painting medium in here. The light's coming from this side, so you've got this little bit of a highlight here. For the delft pot I'm going to use my white, a little bit of my um, paints grey and uh, my, my two blues, my ultramarine and my cerulean or your cobalt, you can use any of those. So I'm just going to make myself a little bit of a shadow. So, so you want a little bit of a shadowy side on this on this side yeah uh, this grapes is uh, casting a shadow onto the pot on this side yeah a little bit of in between and on this side yeah As the light comes from this side to that side, uh, this side and this side is going to be in, in a bit of a more of a shadow. So I just take my ultramarine blue and my um, paint gray and um, I put in a little bit of shadow there. crisp edge there against the background so you can just put in your white there if it uh, gets a little bit um, a little bit of the, the shadow part in it don't worry too much That's a little bit full for this, so I just want to get out some clean, nice white here. And a little bit maybe of the buff. And you can even take out a little bit of the cool grey. I 
want a crisp edge against the, the grapes and the stuff there as well. I want to put a pattern on here, so I'm going to uh, not paint too thick, thick. Otherwise, I'm gonna it's gonna be a problem here to get my pattern on. Um, when you when you when you um, when you've done all your light colors, your white color everywhere, then you can start blending in this little bit. For example, you can go in a little bit there, uh, even there a little bit. You can wipe your brush and bring out that shadow part a little bit more to there. You can even uh, put a little bit of a shadowy part underneath the bowl here. Yeah? You start you can maybe just make random marks or something that you want to put in here for your you want to look, let it look like a, a delft pot so you can either do it free, freehand or you can take a small round brush and draw it in first or whatever you want to do here yeah? it doesn't really matter um, I'm just going with the flow Put it on as stick as you like. You can take a little bit of your cerulean blue or cobalt. The color that I did not put on my list is a little bit of orange, it's not necessary. I sometimes just put in a little bit of my orange in the delft because I like it, it's not, it's not necessary and uh, I'm going to start with my grapes now. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, or the, I can even use this one that I've done the background with. Uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Lizarding Crimson and my Prussian Blue to make myself a grey colour. Just want to bring it closer so you can you can make your grey colour um, as purple as, as you like. And then I'm going to first just put in my grabs quickly and then I'm going to start highlighting them with a buff titanium and the blue grey. You can just use your brush, brush like that and make yourself circles.
once you're at the bottom you can maybe just uh, make sure that you cover all the red that's sticking out there I think I'm going to switch to a smaller brush You can now start to maybe in some areas uh, overlapping your grapes. Now you can take your uh, buff and your um, cool grey and then you can start highlighting some of the grapes in front.
feel I feel white and there where the light touches the grabs you can highlight a little bit a little tiny bit of feel white onto the the grape not on all of them though just uh, select it select a few ones and I like them if you like to give it a little bit more color um, as I said earlier I like to take all the paint that's left on my board or my palette and just put it onto my canvas uh, it's not necessary that you do it but uh, as long as you've got it out, you can just as well use it. So 
so yeah I hope you enjoyed it uh, please um, if you want me to paint something specific just ask me in the comments if you want to try this at home and you want to ask me to uh, I would love if you post it in the in the comment box that I can have a look and, and, and see um, so yeah I'm finished for now uh, you can see I've got some lovely buttery textures there in my background if you liked it I would appreciate if you like and subscribe uh, hit the bell and then you will get notifications when I upload and you must have a nice day <laughs>